what up um so this has been a weird uh delivery earlier in the week i had this out of two different stores for the same customer uh picked it up didn't think nothing of it i was supposed to drop it off what i picked up at the first store go to the second store and then come back to the address well on the way to the first store i zoomed in and realized it wasn't sending me to an actual street with the name of the address uh it was just sending me to the a main street in uh in indio and uh so i look up the address again and i, I try to find it i can't find nothing that matches it and um anyways that that day i end up saying a uh, bad address customer wouldn't answer the phone or texts and uh, i didn't end up picking up the rest of it obviously because i didn't know where to take the first part of it so now, uh, two days later, I got this order out of one store now. I got a street name that's completely different than uh, what was, it was like Wawampa or something weird uh, the first day. Um, and today it's a completely different uh, street name. Not even close to what it said the first day. And um, this order still doesn't seem right because I have concrete block. And then I have some slump block here, so... Um, and then I get to this house. I'll show you where I'm at. I get to this house. I got tan block. Everything here is wood and white. So, um, I'm, nobody's answering again. It's a approved for unintended drop. So, best case scenario for me today was leave it curbside because nobody's answering. I don't know where to put it. And if, if I block a driveway or something and then somebody complains, they can make me come back and move it. But, uh, so I went up there, tried to knock on the door. I see the windows are open and, uh, it's a remodel. So what I did is I walked over, um, looked over the gate. I know nobody lives here now. Sure enough, they got a wall uh, half built in the backyard. So now, now that I know this is actually the house, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see the sand pile that's in here. I'm going to leave the left side of the driveway open and I'm going to drop, I have three pallets. I'm going to drop a pallet, put my spec mix, this little small one I got here. I'm going to put it on top of that. And then, um, and actually, you know what? I'm just going to put them one, two, three. So I'll drop this one, hide it in the back behind just the two pallets of concrete. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, this would have been straight up curbside delivery since I don't have anybody here. So my decision... I'm picking the right side of the driveway because I basically got a parking bump here on the left. So I will drop this. I can get a little bit under this awning here. That's as far as I can go. What I'll do, see what I'm doing. I'll just get the edge, I'll slide it up a little bit for them. Alright, so I got that slid up, tip down, get out of there, and uh, not clip the roof on the way back out here. So you can see I got that slid in underneath, that's the one that if it did rain, um, that would be damaged. The rest of it's just blocked, so the rest of it doesn't matter, and the rest of it's not as, uh, as feelable as uh, some of the stuff on that pallet. Now the problem is, what's on that pallet, that block does not match this block. But this big block matches the block that's in the backyard, so... I got a feeling I'm going to be back here at some point. Um, maybe not, because what's on that uh, pallet so small, it's little half blocks. They can take that back to the store. I think it's only like seven of them. So if they got to exchange it, they're not going to send the flatbed out for that. But I don't know. I don't even know if this is as much uh, block as they were supposed to get in, in total. So I would not be surprised if I end up here again at some point.
but I am doing them a big favor by putting it here because that's another uh, 60 feet to the, uh, the curb but they would have to uh, get that block to the backyard because this is the backyard uh, fence I could see the neighbor's house but I, you could look dead through the front of the house and I can see the, uh, the, the neighbor's house through the backyard so this is their privacy fence their wood fence like all the rest of them over here look like they're pretty uh, old and what most people do is they get you know the houses originally came with the wood fence well now they go to these block ones That's best case scenario for the customer right there. But like I said, I would not have done this had I not been able to see inside the house and uh, see through this window over here. You can tell it's a complete like remodel flip kind of house. Brand new kitchen, brand new everything. No furniture, no nothing. Uh, behind this fence over here, you can see they got all their their cement mixers kind of stuff. So this house is completely being uh, rehauled. So otherwise, that delivery would have been sitting right here along the street. Um, I do not put stuff onto the property if I feel like there's actually somebody living there that could get have to get in or in, out of a garage. So, anyways. Um, I'll make a part two to this if there is one, but uh, as of right now, I don't think I'll be back. Uh, that, that should that should be it. And if they need to replace that slump block, then they can do that themselves. But uh, that's how I diagnosed that problem. Um, sometimes you just got to look around a little bit to figure out what to do and what's best. And uh, I like I always say, I try to make it easy on the workers, so... Um, I did. I put it as close as I possibly could and left some parking open too. So, uh, that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to call it here and I'll uh, talk to y'all later. Leave me a comment or give me a like, and then uh, subscribe if you want to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, I'll talk to y'all later.